Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Today we are getting into coal power. Uh, I did a little bit of researching and stuff like that between episodes, so I have researched coal power. We have all the stuff ready to go, and all we need to do is actually set it up. Uh, also, I found another uh, hard drive over here. Looks like this will be done by the time we uh, get back. So that's looking good. Um, coal power requires two things. You need water and you need coal. Uh, and power, I guess, as well. Uh, but the coal power generators create the power, so that's not really a big deal. Um, but, as I said, you need water and you need coal. Thankfully, this whole section down here is all water. And we do have a couple of nearby coal nodes. There is one right down over there. You can kind of see where the power wires are going. And then there's another one way over there. Also, I figured out kind of a cool way to get around. Uh, or to get up and down fairly quickly. Uh, if you take a foundation like this, right? And you stack a bunch of foundations. Then you take these stackable conveyor poles you can clip these into the wall and do something like that and you get a nice little ladder that you can go up and down, which is pretty cool. You do have to be careful going down it. I find that you have to kind of go here and then back up and keep looking down. So it's a little bit finicky, but it's way faster than like going up and down stairs or uh, I mean, obviously from this height, we can't just like jump because we would die. Um, but yeah, if we look out way down there's a coal node right there and i've already kind of run the track i haven't like set up the conveyor belts and stuff like that or run power to it but i've kind of started to sort of lay some things out a little bit just so i'm not uh finicking uh, with it you know too much um but then there's another coal node that also kind of connects up to that and one of them is a pure node and one of them is a normal node, which means uh, with tier one miners, which is all that we have access to right now, we'll be able to pull 180 coal per minute out of the ground. That is enough to support 12 coal power stations or power genera coal generators. It's enough to support 12. These things take, I believe it's 15 coal per minute uh, or something along those lines. Um, and we also need water, um, which we will get from water extractors right here. They're essentially water pumps uh, that pump water. And each one of these can actually support... It's something like 2.4 coal generators or something like that. It's, a, it's not an even amount. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 12 coal generators and 6 water pumps. We'll just do two water pumps per, or one water pump per two generators is kind of the plan. Uh, here's the other coal node right here, and it kind of runs down. So this is going to be our coal line, and uh, we can jump in here because it's water, so it's safe. And I don't know exactly yet where I want to put the power, like the, the actual thingamadoodle. I'm kind of leaning towards like over here. And then maybe we elevate it so we bring up the water and the coal together is kind of what I'm thinking. Maybe we'll like, I mean, honestly, we could just put it like at this level or height right here for now. That could maybe be fine. Uh, also, we want to have three. Oh, I need to be in zoop. We want to have three rows of foundations here. We will ultimately put another one meter foundation on top of these just so we're not like in the water. Um, but we'll have two lines coming off from the coal generator up there and one line coming from that coal generator over here. Each one will get their own uh, little walkway. So let me start getting some stuff down and uh, we'll see if we can get this figured out. Also, I should probably mention this is as far as I have gotten in Satisfactory in my, like, playtesting before I started recording. Because believe it or not, I do actually play every game that I record before I record it, just so I can, like, get a feel for the game and not 
feel like a complete idiot trying to figure stuff out in the first episode. Uh, so this is as far as I've gotten, and uh, I'm flying blind from here on out, but I'm confident that we can figure it out. So yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing set up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, my friends, I think I have it all figured out. This took a really long time. <laughs> so, uh, but I think I got it all done. I, a lot of it, it wasn't like super difficult or anything like that. It was just a lot of like messing around with placing stuff in just the right spot, little things like that. So the only thing that's actually left to do is to hook up the wiring. But I figured I'd explain it to you uh, before I do that. Um, also, I've got the uh, coal miners. I just powered them just now. Uh, so we should start seeing coal appearing in here pretty soon. There we go. Let's just climb down the ladder. And this is what we are. This is the longest ladder of my entire life. Holy cow. Okay, good enough. Okay, and I still took fall damage. So this is what we're working with. We have here 12 coal power thingies. Uh, then... These require um, both water and coal. So down below, you can't really get a good view of it from here. This whole thing looks like kind of a mess right now, but like it, there, there is a method to the madness. Um, so down here, we have three water pumps on each side. Three here, or water extractors, or whatever they're called. We have three over here and three on that side. Uh, one of these is running at 50% efficiency. The thing is, these pipes can only transport 300, uh, is it milliliters? Is that what they're, me meters squared. Uh, they're, they, they can only transfer 300 meters, uh, or cubed, meters cubed of, uh, water per minute. So, um, is it per minute? Yeah, per minute. These coal factories or coal power plant things each use 45 water per minute. So basically you can run six of these off of a single pipe, but you uh, will end up a little bit less than efficient on these guys because down here, can I jump up onto, isn't there like a grate? There we go. Uh, these guys produce 120. So three of these is going to produce 360 units of water, um, but the pipes can only haul 300. So as a result, I've taken one of these on each side and made it only run at 50% speed. Uh, I'm underclocking it, so it's only producing 60. That way we are producing exactly 300 units of water per pipe. Um, which is what we need to fill everything up. Also, we should start seeing coal. Yep. I can see it off in the distance there. We are slowly but surely getting coal to start flowing over here. Why does it look like only one line is flowing? Did I only hook up one of these lines? There should be two lines here. Why aren't you working? weird. Maybe it's just a weird belt thing? Yeah, just a weird belt thing. These are the belts in, in this game are a little finicky sometimes. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, that's okay. We've got our coal coming there, and our coal coming from here, and our coal coming from here. So it's all gonna start making its way over here. This one is stopped uh, because at the top, I didn't want to just start dumping coal into the system until I'm ready to actually start it. So up at here, uh, I temporarily removed these tracks. There'll be one conveyor belt here, one conveyor belt here flowing into this, and one conveyor belt here going into this. Okay, so back to the piping. So the water pumps will pump their water up into this pipe, and you need, uh, the water pumps can push, uh, or th not the water pumps, the, uh, the extractors. Right? Is that, am I getting that right? Uh, production. Yeah, the water extractors down there can push water vertically upwards 10 meters, um, which is just, this just barely makes it, and I did test it. 
Um, and then we're using another water pump to push it up the remaining amount. And then this pump on this side will deal with these six coal generators, and it's just mirrored on the other side. Uh, so that all works. As for the coal, we're going to bring it up here, uh, and we're, we basically put it at a separate elevation than the water, because rather than try to like run the conveyor belts, try to, it was just going to be complicated. So basically I just brought the uh, conveyor belts up a little bit using these uh, item elevators, uh, and that made it nice and easy, so we've got everything all sort of split up here. Uh, and basically... We have three lines. Each of these lines splits into a grand total of four separate lines. So like this one will split here into one, two, and then this will also split once again. So those three lines will power the, or will provide coal to the four generators, uh, or two, four of the 12 generators, I should say. And that is pretty much it. So now I need to hook up the actual power and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like right here. And this isn't going to be super efficient as far as like number of uh, power poles. But the thing is, I, I, you'll, uh, you'll also notice I did this all on one big row. The reason for that is in the future because I'm sure we will need more power than these will produce down the road. Like, not for a while, but we will need it eventually. I wanted to make this easily expandable, so I can just double this whole thing over to the other side if I really want to. Um, and I think that's going to be super useful. So let's just go here, and each of these is going to hook up to one generator, because then uh, if we hook up another generator on the other side, that will be all four connections used. There we go. Get that stuff going here. Oh, not you. Just there. Almost done. And there we go. Okay, so that's all good. And then we just need to hook these lines up with our main power grid, uh, which we haven't done yet. We also need to power the water pumps down there, which should be pretty easy to do. I think I can just run... Uh, probably better to run it off of this one. So there's one that will power that thing. And then we got to do the same thing on the other side over here, which would be you. And then maybe what we should actually do is put one more power pole there. Run you down to here. And that's what and say I'm falling. <laughs> Oops. It's okay. We're fine. Uh, and you are just going to power these things. Like so. So that's half the water pipes now. And those should be doing their thing. And it appears they are. And at this point, we can probably get the coal flowing in as well. So let's go hook you up now that this is all here. And it has traveled the very long distance that it had to. And we need a power pole right about there. Hook you up. Then we'll take our little service elevator over here. Very carefully. Okay. It's fine. We didn't even need it. Uh, slide under. 
and then you hook up to those three generators. Okay. So now, if we come up here, we should be able to see water. Yeah, look at that. We can see the water flowing through the pipes. You can see it here. It is making its way up. So now, these things should basically be producing. I mean, they're not getting a whole lot of water right now, but that's probably okay. And now we just need to hook all of this up. Like so. It's going to take a little while for the system to get, like, fully online with all the coal and the water and stuff like that. But once it does, once everything flows through, these things should be producing quite a lot of power. And it looks like we're maintaining a fairly steady amount of water. So that's all good. Yeah, I think we're good. We Okay, if I look at one of these power poles, in theory, this should be producing uh, like 900 megawatts of power plus what we had from our biofuel generator. So we should be like probably at about 1,200. Yeah, look at that. Capacity... It, we're, it, we're going up and down like crazy right now because the stuff isn't like fully loaded and whatnot. Like we're still getting the, the water and stuff trickling in, but we're getting there. Things are happening. I'm, I'm, I think the water is all working properly like it seems to be. Pump is going. Yeah, I think this all works. I'm going to give it a little while to kind of get up, get, like, get up and running and whatnot, but, uh, you know what? I might just put these on standby for a minute, um, and we'll see how it works out. I'll check in a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll check back with you after I... Oh, why, why are you completely red? Are you just... Is this just a water thing? No, you're not getting coal. Why are you not getting coal? Oh, because I forgot to hook up the... That, that, that would do it. That would be a, a very clear reason why I was not. Okay. <laughs> uh, anything else that I messed up here? You are also red. You're flickering back and forth between red and yellow. Yeah, I think I'll put these all on standby, give the water a chance to get up there, and we'll see if the water is actually going to, like, make it in. Okay, I think these are all now fully loaded with water, so we can start turning them back on. And hopefully, at this point, they will stay running. I'm hoping that it was just an issue with uh, them kind of needing to be, you know, filled before we turned them all on. I also wish there was, like, do you, do you at some point get to unlock, like, a master power switch where you can turn everything on at once? Because that would be pretty cool. There we go. We're getting there. Everything seems to be kind of doing its thing. There we go. Okay. So now, in theory, these should all be completely good to go. Yep, you're still maintaining enough water. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. I think it was just a matter of the ones kind of like in the middle which are farthest away from the pipes just having trouble uh, staying above because it was trying to fill like everything at once and this is actually set up to consume essentially pretty much all of the water it receives so I think that's why we were stuttering before so now this should be good and yeah now we're getting 1270 megawatts of power which is a ton that's uh, before we were at like 300. So now we're in good shape. I did also completely shut off like uh, pretty much everything while I was working on this because I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't run out of biofuel when it came, <laughs> that I wasn't uh, out of biofuel when it came time to start this whole thing. But yeah, this is working great. 
I'm loving it. All right, now that we got that all taken care of, uh, I want to do another fairly small project. These things are dangerous. Uh, functional, but dangerous. Um, I want to do something else that's, you know, fairly straightforward. Um, we have here two quartz nodes, uh, two uh, pure quartz nodes, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not using them right now, and I'm not going to be using them for a little while, but these do produce quartz, obviously, you know, since they're like quartz nodes, uh, and quartz is actually worth quite a lot if you turn it into uh, something else and then dump it into the awesome sink. So that's what I want to do here, is basically take advantage of the fact that we have this right here to just basically produce some easy stuff and then just dump it straight into an awesome sink so that we can hopefully unlock like some new building blocks and stuff like that pretty soon. Um, because there's still a lot of stuff gated behind that that I want to be making use of that I simply can't right now. So that all seems good. Um, I would really like... Am I really gonna... No, you know what? I don't need to. We can do this. Um, production... Oh, no. Just give me the... Equipment workshop real quick. <laughs> I'm just gonna make one of these super fast. Because I don't want to run all the way back. I just need two portable miners. There we go. And then we can disassemble this. <laughs> <laughs> Save myself a trip. Okay, so then um, this looks pretty bad. Let's do maybe another... Do you want to go two meter foundations? Or will one be enough? Uh, one might be enough, actually. Yeah, we'll just throw some one meter foundations on top of this real quick. Looks pretty bad right now, but that's fine. get this mostly covered up like so and then do the same over there okay so now let's grab our miners Ooh, okay that one's not gonna work this one will we'll put one there uh probably gonna have to get rid of these maybe Yeah, now we can put the miner down. Okay, so let's just go like that, I guess. And then give me a power pole like right here. Uh, and then let's make a constructor. And I just want to see how much, if we want to make quartz crystals, 37.5. Five? What a weird amount. Okay, so three constructors will essentially do this. So we need three constructors for each one. That's easy enough. Uh, make that straight. There we go. So let's just go... Maybe we bring that all over here. I don't know. Let me get this sorted out. Okay, I got it all sorted out here. So we got our quartz going over here into these constructors and being turned into quartz crystal. I don't have this 100% efficient because like 37.5 and 22.5 are such weird numbers to work with. But like it's close enough. It, it, it's we're doing okay. And that's just going to start dumping in here. And these are worth like a fair amount of points. I don't know exactly how many, but like... You can see we're taking off roughly a hundred every time it ticks, which is like pretty okay. So you know that's gonna uh, that's much faster than it was going before. I think before yeah, look at this, we were at like 720 points per minute before I started this. It has now jumped up to 5,000 points per minute, which is like a ridiculous difference. <laughs> So we're just going to kind of let this run. We've got the power to support it until we actually have a need for this quartz. 
uh, which is eventually, but not quite yet. Uh, we can just basically turn this into a passive awesome point farm uh, so that we can hopefully get those fix-it coupons and buy cool stuff. Speaking of which, we just got five, which is enough to buy something new. But I don't think there's anything I really want right this second. I want to buy a bunch of things at once. On second thought, you know what? Spend them if you got them. Might as well spend them while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up dumping them in a storage bin or something anyway. So we have five tickets to spend. Ooh, roofs cost six. Tilted walls would be nice. You know what? I would really like to get uh, the roofs. So let's print off this other one here. There we go. And let's just buy fix-it roofs. So now we can actually put ceilings on our buildings when we get around to making buildings. There's a few other things I really think that I would like to unlock before we really get into building stuff. Pillars are a big one. Railings and catwalks. And I uh, wouldn't mind getting factory ladders as well. Um, a lot of this other stuff will be nice to have, but we don't necessarily need it. Windowed walls are super important. Some of the various foundations and stuff, like signs. There's so many things. Uh, but again, they're kind of gated behind these fix-it awesome sinks, which is a, a time gate, but you know what? It gives you uh, an incentive to produce lots and lots of things. So anyway, we got a lot accomplished today. We got our coal power up and running. We got our fix-it uh, awesome sink you know, dumping more stuff into that. It's been a pretty good episode, but I think I'm going to call it there. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.